Hey there. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a Hayden push-pull fan for um, this one. I'm using on a Durango, but they can be put on pretty much anything. Um, it's a smaller one. It wasn't that expensive. I got it off of Amazon. Basic two-wire hookup. Like I said, it is push and pull. Um, I had it mounted on my vehicle, on my Durango, as a push, and that didn't turn out so well for obvious reasons. Um, I was hoping I could get away with it, but I couldn't. So I had to change it, which means taking it off and you have to do two things to change it. Um, it's not as simple as just reversing the polarity on the wires, which you do have to do. You have to basically connect it up backwards, but you also have to change the fan itself, the direction of the blades. And it's really easy. Uh, we'll do it right now just so you can have a look at it. First you need to pop these clip up a little bit. Once you have that off, it's usually a simple procedure. Of course everything that's supposed to be simple isn't. Um, then you switch the fan and put it back on reverse. And you apply your clip back again. Make sure it's seated in place. The last thing you want to have is this son of a gun fly off part way down the road. Once you hear that click, you know you're good. So simple as that. You take the fan, reverse the blades, reverse the polarity, and now it becomes a pull as opposed to a push. So if you have it mounted on the engine side of your radiator, it'll draw the air through along with the wind that's coming through the radiator and provide much more cooling power than as if you were trying to fight the wind and push it through. Hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching.